Hey, what's poppin'? It's TT here. Thank you for joining me today. I'm on my Erica Badu ish today. It was laundry day. I just took my crochet out, about to whip it back up, and been just doing a little handy work today on top of washing. So yeah, I'm in rare form. Thank you for joining me. I'm here today with our daily message of encouragement and guidance. If you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to participate and view and share and all that good stuff. Um, if you've been here, thank you for watching. I offer intuitive guidance. I have sessions from 15 minutes up to an hour from $15 up to $60. If you need me, reach out, please. I do offer um, your first free three-card spread. So if you need that, hit me up and I got you. Okay. God, angels, spirit guides, ascending masters, archangels, spirit animals, ascending masters. Thank you for giving us the message that we need today for our highest good. It is feeling good in Texas. I bet you I'm getting cute this week. I bet you I'm getting this head together. Abundant. Abundance. Set your intentions. Set your intentions. Think about what you do want. Uh, abundance. I just, y'all, y'all gonna hear me repeat this in the last few videos, but I've been getting the same cards over and over, and that's why it's telling me that this is very, very like this is time for manifestation high manifestation like instant manifestation so it's important that we guard our thoughts and our minds and try our best to only think about the things we do want abundance again for the win it's time bookie abundance well Think about your life. I'm saying this to myself and anybody who's watching. Think about how you see your life. Think about where you are right now in life. Think about what you want to draw into your life. And, yeah, I've been really working on this. Uh, training my mind to think about only the things that I do want. I think I'm going to pull another card from the Mermaid Oracles. Abundance, abundance. What do we want in abundance? Abundance of healing, abundance of hope, abundance of love, abundance of insight, prosperity, abundance of flow. Thank you, Angel, for another message. Miracles, miracles, this tie into the abundance card for me. We got to manifest, manifest, anything is possible. Uh, dream your highest, most best dream because the energy that's going on right now, we, we, we drawing it right to us. Drawing it right to us. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Yes. I'm going to read what's in the book. Miracles. Be realistic and plan for a miracle. Be open to receiving miracles in your life. Perhaps you are the miracle for someone else. This mermaid asks you to prepare for incoming miracles. <coughs> I'm so grateful. <coughs> Before I go any further, gratitude. 
Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Let's be thankful all day, every day. Thankful for the small things that we may take for granted because an attitude of gratitude is what draws in the miracles. An attitude of gratitude draws in the abundance. So let's be thankful for everything. Let's let's um get away from that complaining energy. This is the time to be grateful for the smallest, nearest things. Every day we got something to be grateful for. We got a roof over our head. We got breath in our lungs. We can still get up, walk. We can use our intellect. We can make um, healthier decisions. We got so many things to be grateful and thankful for. So let's shift our focus there because that is what's going to draw in the miracles. That's what's drawing in the abundance. This mermaid asks you to prepare for incoming miracles. Miracles can manifest in many ways and, and can occur when we least expect them. It's important to remain open to receiving miraculous happenings in your life and also to be grateful when they come. Perhaps you're someone else's miracle. Have you considered that your very presence could be a miracle for someone else that has been waiting Excuse me, and wishing for? Life can be full of minor and major miracles. <laughs> excuse me. We only have to be we only have to open our hearts to the miraculous possibilities that are inherent within this beautiful universe. If you've been praying and wishing for a miracle, this card is a sign to say your prayers and wishes have been heard and to watch out for the signs. Maybe miracles are manifesting for you right now. If so, are you really ready and open to receive them? You might think you are. However, it's also possible that you may have some blocks. It's worth really looking at at this time and working on yourself so you're mentally open and free to receiving any miracles at any miracles as they appear on your path. Miracles aren't always grand gestures. Our lives are full of small miracles such as waking up, breathing, walking, living in freedom, having food on our plate, good health, a roof over our head, and so on. In this, in this respect, miracles aren't dismissal to blessings. So, as the message on the card says, be open to receiving miracles in your life. They can be a part of your of our everyday lives if we let them in. So um, going back to the part that said something about blockages, we pay attention to our thoughts. Pay attention to our thoughts, our habits, any habits that is uh, not helping you grow. It's time to release those habits. Like um, I really been working on the way I think and um, just um, Focusing, focusing on only the things that I do want and stop looking in the past. So um, if there's anybody out there that's dealing with that, um, yeah, work on that because we don't want to be in the way of our blessings, man. Man. Okay, so let's go to the Oracle card for today. The, um, what's the name of this Oracle card? The answer is simple. The answer is thank you, God, for giving us a message to keep us on our highest path. Blow off some steam. Blow off some steam. Blow off some steam. If we have built up emotions that we're not dealing with, we need to find ways to transmute that. We need to do things like exercise, meditate, yoga, walking, dancing, writing. Um, we really got to deal with energy that we ain't uh, letting out. These people riding on this uh, train, but they having a party in the back. 
why the steam is coming out. Because they feel so much better letting their energy out. So maybe that could be a blockage that we are not transmuting. We're holding on to something that needs to be released. Blow off some steam. Number 60. Let's see what that means. Number 60. So I just want to tell you guys that It's important right now for us to get our mental in order, to have it in order, and keep it in, and keep it vibrating at the at the space that we need. Cause I'm getting these repetitive messages. And like it's, I'm having a hard time getting the message that I want right now off of this app. Um, number 60 brings a message from your angels that your material needs will be met as you focus upon your personal truths, inner self, outer self, home, and family. Maintain faith and trust and know that your needs are always met. When angel number 60 appears, be open to signs and signals and stay positive that opportunities will present themselves that will help you meet your material and financial needs. Number six. Angel number six brings a message from the angels to keep balance between your material goals, aspirations, and your spiritual inner self. Respect yourself and others by taking responsibility for your own life and be honest and fair in all your dealings. Be grateful for what you have already as an attitude of gratitude encourages further positive abundance into your life. When angel number six appears, it tells the ability to use your intellect to bring about positive outcomes in your life. Be open to angelic signs and signals, maintain a positive attitude, and trust that opportunities will present themselves that will allow you to meet your material and financial needs. Trust that all will be provided for you as you take care and serve yourself and others, and as you pursue your divine life purpose and soul mission. So all these cards is tying in together. The abundance is around us. The miracles are around us. And all we got to do is focus on being our best self every day. Balancing our lives out. Not worrying. You feel me? Focusing our minds on the things that we do want to see. Because right there, number six was basically talking about manifesting. We got to... We gotta, Got to keep it together. We got to let go. Blow, blow some steam off. Let it go. So, um, I hope this message uh, resonates with you. If it does, could you leave me a comment? Um, and again, thank you for watching. I just want to say, um, believe in yourself. Never give up on yourself. Even if you're afraid, do it afraid. I ain't going to lie. God keep telling me to make these messages, but I'm still releasing feelings you feel me i'm still releasing feelings and i know this is what god called me to do and i'm not gonna stop even though i go back and forth in my head about like is, is this what i'm supposed to be doing like um i'm not gonna get emotional right now but it's okay to get emotional and i just want you, want you to say i just want to say just believe in yourself and don't give up on yourself and even even though stuff don't feel comfortable at first, like every time we learn new thing, every time we're learning new things, it's not gonna be comfortable. Every time we moving into uncharted territory, it's not gonna be comfortable. Growth is not comfortable, so um, it's time to get uncomfortable so we can draw those new things into our life. So y'all have a nice evening and I will be back on here.
tomorrow. Deuces.